In this video, we're going to talk about how do we update information from an old TIN file uh, with new Power Geopack survey data. In this situation, our TIN file was created over a year ago, and the designer is requesting some additional pickup work. And you can see the additional uh, pickup work in, in this DGN file that we're looking at right here. Uh, we have an area uh, to, the, to the north that we need to add in, a little piece right here, and a couple sections down here at the south. And we're going to try to uh, take this information and merge it into uh, the TIN file via a terrain model. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create individual terrain models out of the uh, the additional pickup work. So we'll have a terrain model for the this north piece, this piece right here, and the uh, couple sections down here at the bottom. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and get rid of this uh, terrain file that was created automatically when the surveyor imported um, the survey data or the rec file. So I'm going to go ahead and select it and I'm going to delete that terrain model. Now, that's not a big deal deleting that terrain model because that you can get that back by uh, just selecting everything in your survey file, kind of like so, and then going to your Project Explorer, going to your Survey tab, and going to Field Books, right-clicking, and Create Terrain Model from Selection Set. If I select that, you can see that the terrain model is recreated. Okay. So again, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that terrain model one, one more time. And I'm going to create individual terrain models uh, for each section of this additional survey pickup work. So again, I'm going to do a selection set around the area. I'm going to go back to my Project Explorer, Field Books, Create Train Model, uh, Create Train Model from Field Books Selection Set. So if I do that, it's going to create a train model for just this area here. I'm going to create one for this area right here as well. This piece of uh, data is not included in the terrain model, so we're going to skip that. We're going to come down here, select a terrain model for this section. And then lastly, we're going to create a terrain model for this data down here. All right, so now that we have uh, separate terrain models, we can take that information and merge it in to the old TIN file via uh, a terrain model. And, my, and I say that because what we're going to do is we're going to take that TIN file and we're going to bring it forward into to the Power Geopack product by turning it into a terrain model and then merging this information into it. Okay, so that's the next step. And what we're going to do is we're going to uh, go uh, to a new file and I have one already created, and it's it's the name of the uh, existing tin file. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to import that tin file into this file. So I called it uh, the same name as the tin file. So I'm going to go ahead and open up this file. And if there's anything in this file, I'll go ahead and delete it and import the terrain or the tin file fresh. I'm going to do a fit view once we're in here. You can see the tin files in here already, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, select that uh, information in here, and I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it. All right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to re-import that uh, tin file, just so so you know that we're starting um, with a blank file. And so to do that, you go to your Tasks tool. I'm going to go to my Civil Tools. I'm going to drop down to Terrain Model. And I'm going to go to the very first icon in the top left, which is Create from File. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And it's asking for what file are you going to import. We're going to import the tin. We're going to hit OK to that. It's going to open up a uh, this dialog box right here. And really the only thing you need to do is set the feature definition. So we'll go ahead and do that. And I like... Um, a couple um, feature definitions. I like existing triangles and I also like existing boundary. But for this one, since we want to actually see the information being merged in, I'm going to use existing triangles. 
And then once you have that set, you can go ahead and hit, and hit Import. If you hit the Fit View, you'll see the, the old tin file has been imported and is now a terrain model. Okay. All right. So now what we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a new file and we're going to reference this tin file into that new file and we're also going to reference in that additional pick, pickup work into that new file. And once they're both referenced into that file, we can then uh, use a, a tool out of the DTM section that will merge that information together. So we're going to go ahead and do a file new. And I'm just going to call this um, this new file merge. You can call it whatever you, uh, whatever you like. It might be useful to put maybe the, the tin file name in there and then maybe what you're modifying it with somehow in the name so it kind of makes sense to you. But for this example, we're just going to call it merge. And typically for a terrain model file, you want a 3D seed file. And so our seed files are located under CAD standards, seed files, design English. And the one that we're going to use is this iProject 3D Power Geopack. Okay. All right. I'm just going to verify that I'm in the right working directory here. I am. And I'm going to go ahead and hit OK to create this new file. You can see it's just a blank file. Next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to, again, I'm going to reference in the two terrain models that I want to merge, or, or um, the old tin, tin file terrain model and then the, the pickup work terrain models. And then we'll start merging the information in. So I'm going to imp reference in that one and the survey. Hit OK to that. Hit OK to that. And then we'll go ahead and do a fit view. And you can see the survey work uh, that we're trying to add to this. It's right in that location right there. If you wanted to, you could turn off the text. It's kind of getting in the way here. So I'm going to do an off by element. And so we're going to we're going to merge this information in. We're also going to merge in a little information down here and in a couple sections down here at the bottom. Okay. Or actually a couple sections right here and then a little piece uh, to the north there. All right, so let's go ahead and start uh, merging this information in. And the tool that we're going to use is under the task section. Here we go to terrain model again. Uh, this tool is located right here called create complex terrain model. Go ahead and select that. And what this tool will do is it will look in this file and any reference file that's attached to this file and look for terrain models. And so we're going to select our original tin, which is this one right here. We're going to hit Add. And we're also going to add the rest of these as well, because these are the ones that we're going to add into uh, or want to merge into that original one. And what's going to happen is this, this original tin is going to be our primary, and then the rest of these are going to be appended, meaning if there's any overlap, the appended terrain model will replace the original. Okay, and that's what we want because uh, the additional pickup work is probably more accurate than um, the original tin, and so uh, we're either going to be adding to it or replacing what's in the original tin. And so everything looks good there. Um, the one thing we need to do now is we need to give it a feature definition again. And so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back down to my terrain display. Again, I'm going to pick existing triangles because I want to see how that's being merged in, plus we might need to do some uh, cleanup work, some terrain uh, editing after, after the fact, and I, I want to see my triangles. And so, again, this is where you can give it a name, this new tin file. And again, you, uh, for this 
example, I'm going to call it the original uh, terrain file, terrain model name, and then I'll add something to the end of it to signify that we've modified the original terrain model. And so I'm going to call this one J7P2193, and the original terrain model is called D. And then you can just, you know, add on to the name. I'm going to add in um, updated and then the date. And today's date is 5-13-2015. So you know that that's the original terrain model and it was updated on 5-13-2015. You could use a book and page number if you want to do that instead of, of the date. It's whatever, whatever you feel comfortable with. And so I'm going to go ahead and click finish to add those two those sections in. Now one thing that you, you need to be aware of is um, when you merge stuff together or, or add survey data, it's going to um, possibly have all these bad bogus triangles in there. And it's because it's the setting of that terrain model. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off uh, the reference file so I just see the new merged terrain model in this file. And so I'm going to go up to my level display, or sorry, my reference dialog, and turn off the two attached, and you can see this is the new terrain model. Now all we're going to do real quick is just take a look at what the triangle length settings are, or our edge method settings. And you can see it's set the sliver. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch that to max triangle length, and I'm going to bring that down to maybe about 100 foot and see what that does. So you can see we did add the data right here. We merged that in. It's added it. We still got some bad triangles, triangle legs that we possibly need to remove. We'll do that here in a second. And you can also see the data down here that was added in as well. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we're going to edit this terrain model, clean up some of these triangle legs. And before we can do that, we have to de deactivate the rules for this terrain model. One way to do that is select the edge of the terrain model, bring up the prop property, or actually bring up the uh, pop-up or the heads-up display tools and go to this ruler here click on it and then lock it so you're going to deactivate the rules when you deactivate the rules you're now able to edit the tin file so I'm going to go to my task I'm going to go back to my terrain model uh, palette of tools and the one that we want and I always have to look around for this one is this one right here it's in the second uh, set of tools of the terrain model tools. It's called edit edit terrain model. So we're going to bring those tools out and the tool that I like uh, to clean up these edge triangles is this delete triangle by line. So I'm going to click on it and it's asking in the lower left hand corner select the terrain model. So we just got to need to select the terrain model and now we're just going to drag a line where we want to delete our triangles. Okay. Okay. So that's all there is. Um, you just go around and, and clean up your edge triangles. Uh, now, if you activate the rules, reactivate these rules, uh, the terrain model rules. Those edits that you just did will go back to what, what they were. So what you want to do is once you merge in the information, you want to clean up your triangles and leave it locked. So that's the steps for adding newer survey information into an old tin file via terrain model.